First Lady Melania Trump put on an incredibly glamorous display as she joined her husband President Donald Trump in hosting a black tie dinner at the White House. The 47-year-old looked a world away from the incredibly casual figure she had cut earlier in the day when she visited hurricane-hit areas of Florida, when she opted to wear jeans, a baggy shirt and $50 Converse sneakers, donning an $8,000 Monique Lhuillier gown for the White House Historical Association dinner and reception. Standing alongside her husband as he took to the stage to welcome guests to the decadent evening event, Melania was the picture of style in the sparkling silver design, which featured a simple slip-style floor-length dress underneath a sheer chiffon and sequin overlay which fell all the way down to the floor. The dress was cinched in at the waist with a black ribbon-style belt, helping to accentuate the first lady's fabulous figure. Melania wore her long brunette locks in loose waves around her shoulders, while her makeup was kept very subtle, just a simple smoky eye, bronzed cheeks, and a pink glossy lip. Mother of one Melania looked absolutely thrilled to be at the event, and was pictured beaming with joy as her husband took to the stage to introduce her, before she took to the podium herself to address the guests. It has been a busy day for the President and the First Lady, who traveled from the White House to Fort Myers, Florida, early on Thursday morning in order to meet with locals who have been impacted by the devastating effects of Hurricane Irma. Melania took the chance to pay tribute to the bravery and resilience of the people she met while addressing guests at the dinner, praising the unwavering commitment to overcome and rebuild. She noted that in both Florida and Texas she and her husband met so many who lost so much. However the First Lady added that the true spirit of this nation, an unwavering commitment to overcome, to rebuild, and to renew what was swept away. Together, we all hurt with these victims. And together we vow to lift our neighborhoods from the deepest of despair. Meanwhile her husband took his moment on stage as an opportunity to praise the White House as a place that I've grown to love and respect, less than one month after the historical building underwent an intense two-week renovation. The overhaul was completed not long after the president allegedly made a remark about the White House being a dump to patrons at his golf club in Bedminster, New Jersey, in July. However, in August he denied that claim, saying on Twitter, I love the White House, one of the most beautiful buildings, homes, I have ever seen. But fake news said I called it a dump, totally untrue. Trump was certainly full of praise for the White House on Thursday evening, describing the building as a house like no other that conjures beauty, warmth, power, and sometimes coldness. Like his wife, the president also touched on the hurricane recovery efforts in Florida, and says authorities there have done an A-plus job. The White House Historical Association is a non-profit association founded in the early 1960s by Jacqueline Kennedy to preserve and provide public access to the White House. The group's president, Stuart D. McLaurin, says it is pleased to be honored by the White House for the work we undertake. Earlier in the day, Melania put on a much more casual display as she traveled to Florida to visit hurricane victims alongside her husband, even undergoing an outfit change while on board Air Force One. Melania, who was labeled out of touch and disrespectful when she donned stilettos to visit hurricane victims in Houston, appeared to have sworn off high heels for her trip to meet with citizens who have been impacted by Hurricane Irma. After wearing $750 black and beige Chanel flats to board Air Force One with President Donald Trump on Thursday morning, Melania changed into a casual button-up shirt, white skinny jeans, and $50 Converse sneakers. Her olive green top was tucked into her jeans, which were cropped to show off her Chuck Taylor all-star sneakers. Melania shielded her eyes from the sun with a pair of aviator sunglasses, and she even threw her hair up into a ponytail, topping of her look with a crisp white baseball cap. She also opted to leave her black Hermes Birkin, which retails at a whopping $11,900 to $12,200, on the aircraft. The First Lady was photographed stepping off Air Force One at Southwest Florida International Airport in Fort Myers with her husband, and Trump was dressed just as casually in cocky pants, a windbreaker, and a USA cap on his head. The couple was greeted by Florida Governor Rick Scott upon their arrival, and she stood by Trump's side as they listened to the governor speak during a briefing on Hurricane Irma at the airport. After the briefing, the President, Vice President, and First Lady, set off to Naples to meet with people who have been impacted by Hurricane Irma. Melania took to Twitter to share footage of Naples during an air tour of the damage. 
before touching down in Naples, air tour of hurricane damage. There is much work to be done, but America is with you Florida, she wrote. The group was photographed walking through the city's streets as they assessed the devastation caused by the hurricane. They then went on to help serve food to people who were affected by the storm, passing out sandwiches and water bottles to those in need. Melania placed her aviators on the brim of her cap and put on on a pair of disposable gloves while handling the food. At one point Trump, Melania, and Pence brightly smiled while posing for a selfie with one of victims who met with them. Melania left her casual daytime outfit on for the flight back to Washington, D.C., and she was all smiles as she stepped off Marine One on the White House lawn. Last month, Melania caused an uproar when she donned high heels while to visit areas struck by Hurricane Harvey in Texas but wore similar shoes on a follow-up trip to the disaster-struck state earlier this month. On Thursday, Melania paired her Chanel flats with cocky coppery pants and a black safari-inspired jacket, as well as a pair of sunglasses and her signature blowout. Similar flats retail for $750 on Chanel's website. While she seemed to abandon the high heels that earned her severe backlash on her two previous visits, the former model completed her latest outfit with a black Birkin bag by Hermes. The purse is among one of the most coveted, hardest to acquire accessories in the world. Ordinary people with enough savings to purchase one of the typically struggle to get their hands on it, while a few select A-listers get to sling them around their arms. Last month, Melania came under fire when she was spotted in a pair of black snake skin heels while on her first visit to Harvey Stricken, Texas, as the hurricane continued beating rain down on Houston, swamping entire neighborhoods and leaving thousands clambering to their roofs to be rescued. On that occasion, she paired the shoes with tailored black capris and a green bomber jacket as she and President Trump departed the White House.